I mean the live explanation from you to what are the role of in, in shifting from conventional source of energy to... Okay, so... Sir, we are very much trustworthy with our eminent scientists and uh, great agencies like the Department of Atomic Energy. Our the next question very much relevant, it is the last question but very much relevant questions regarding to understand the role of, since we are heading for the era of global warming and the climate change, so you, you want to know some live explanation that what are the role of nuclear energy to reducing, to abating the impact of the global warming and the climate change. So if you enlighten us, it is very grateful among the student community yeah, as yeah. well as the new faculty <coughs> members like me. Yeah, yeah. See, I always, as I sometime back also I told that I always believe in uh, uh, demonstration from everyday life. So first there is a need to understand what is global warming. People might have read essays, but it requires only a very simple demonstration. Yeah, yeah. Now you see, I have seen this car is here in this sunlight, this car you can see, this car for last, I think more than half an hour it is parked here, under the sun. Okay? Yes. Now inside the car there is no sunlight? No, no. You can check? There is shadow inside? Yes, yes. There is shadow inside. Outside there is hot sun. Right. I will invite any volunteer student, let him feel the heat here, let him go and sit in the car and tell me which is hotter. Is it hotter here or hotter, hotter inside, inside the car? Inside yeah, please tell me, by sitting inside the car, tell me, very is it hotter. hotter inside or here? It is very hot. It is much hotter there, but there is no direct sunlight you see there. Here in the sunlight, you are feeling less heat, but here you are feeling more heat. The reason is that the sunlight is able to enter through the glass inside the car. It heats up the car. Now there is a process when a body gets heated up, it emits heat waves yes. and it loses heat by that. That is, this glass is not allowing because the heat waves which are generated, they are infrared waves, waves. And this glass doesn't allow those infrared waves to go out. So what is happening? It is becoming a heat trap. It takes heat from the sun but doesn't allow heat outside. So the net result is the car, the inside of the car is gaining heat with time. So it is becoming hotter than outside. That is the reason. This is what is global warming. Now when you consider earth as a car and carbon dioxide as this glass. So what happens? The sunlight comes through the carbon dioxide, heats up the earth, but doesn't allow the heat of the earth to go out. And the net result is that the earth is getting heated up more and more and that is what is global warming. The average temperature on the, uh, around the earth is increasing and people say because of that there are going to be consequences. Mm -hmm. The sea level will rise, many of the, mm -hmm. the, the there will be changes in the weather system and some of which we are already experiencing. Mm -hmm. I am told that before Holi it never used to be so hot. So hot. This but year it is very hot. For, uh, given that yeah, it is yeah, only yeah. March month, even Holi is not over, but it is very hot. <laughs> So I think we have to be concerned. Now how it can be done? One way is stop generating electricity, stop burning carbon. There will be no carbon dioxide, so there will be no global warming. Yeah. But I don't think society is ready for that. Yeah. So we have to find out means that we generate electricity, but we don't generate carbon no dioxide. Yeah. Which are the methods? Or renewable methods are good for that. Yeah. Go for solar power, go for hydro power, go for wind power. But then at the same time understand that all the renewables put together cannot meet even 20% of our requirement. Oh, so, still large gap. so that means 80% of the power supply has to come from non-renewable. Now in non-renewable only fossil fuel and, and nuclear, they are possible. So what, we, what I tell the society is that yes, for many decades we will keep burning the coal. But only thing is we should go on increasing the share of nuclear so that the share of fossil fuel comes down, down and the average emission of carbon dioxide, we get rid of it or we reduce it so that we can avoid the problem at least for the time being. So that is what is so, nuclear has a very important role in mitigation of global warming. That has to be understood. Yeah. That has been understood by so many people. The Director General of IAEA has said so. Even some of the UN resolutions, it has been accepted. But society at large needs to understand that in the interest of continuing life on this planet, we must promote nuclear power. Yeah, yeah. Thank you very much, sir.
you come on this uh, national workshop yeah in not in light not only the participant yeah but in light us in light yeah. the student community thank you very much for discussing all these op issues controversial issues with the yeah. deep understanding and knowledge yeah. We are very much thankful to you, sir. In fact, thank I would much. like to thank the Amity University and you, yeah. the student community oh. and the academic community, for giving me a chance to do so. Okay. Thank you. Thank Thanks you a lot. Much.